Hello friends, today I will tell you the story about the Creedy Sparrow. One minute, what was that? Yes, Bodhisattva was once born as a bird. He lived in a forest with many other birds. The forest was full of fruits, trees. This was perhaps the only place where birds and animals lived like friends. They even shared food and enjoyed life in complete harmony. Bodhisattva bird was wise and kind. Because of these qualities, all the birds and, and animals addressed him as king bird. One year was particularly hot and dry. King bird could not bear the birds suffering from the scorching heat. He felt it was his duty to find a better place for them. He alone flew in different direction looking for a good place to spend the hot summer. Suddenly he noticed no picked mountains. His heart was full of joy. He returned to the forest and addressed a meeting of all the birds and animals. My dear friends, I am indeed sorry to see how you are all suffering in this heat. I would like to suggest that till the weather improves, let us migrate to the valley near the, those snow-picked mountains. You will be happy to live there. King birds have advice for, for on the good of all. They all flew to the valley. This place was definitely more comfortable and beautiful. The birds were happy. Amongst the, these birds was a stupid greedy fellow. One day, she noticed a row of carts moving on the road leading to the palace. These were full of big baskets carrying grains for the royal kitchen. The sparrow dashed along to eat those grains and kept eating till her tummy was full. The carts passed on the road every day and the sparrow fed itself on rice grains and pulses. She was happy because she no longer had to search for food. Every day she would tell her friends, Don't you dare go towards the royal path. It's dangerous. I have seen huge carts moving at a great speed. You will be killed if you go near them. The birds, when they heard this, got scared and thanked the sparrow for cautioning them. The sparrow's intentions were def defined. She was hardly concerned about the well-being of, of others. She was just selfish and greedy. Now that no one was going towards the royal path, the sparrow enjoyed her meal in peace. One day it was very windy. The sparrow was, as usual, feasting on the rice grains that had trickled from the first car. Due to the wind, the grains did not stay steady on the ground. The Sparrow kept running after them in all directions. The next cart was coming closer. The sparrow did not notice the car, but she thought she had some more time to eat a little more. She was mistaken. The wind actually helped the carts to move faster. The greedy sparrow was so busy picking up the grains that before she could know, she was already under the wheel. Every evening, King Bird said with all the birds of his clan, he would do a head count just to be sure of their safe return from wherever they might have gone during the day. That evening, he found the greedy sparrow missing, sent some birds to search for her. They went in difficult, different directions. The birds that had gone towards the royal path saw on the road cut into two pieces they were shocked they returned to king bird and reported we saw we saw her dead on the road on the royal path it was in it is indeed strange because she had advised us to stay away from the road saying that the road was too busy and therefore dangerous for birds but then why did she go there those who advise others do not put it into action in their own lives. 
end up in such a miserable way. This is also the model of the story, explained King Bird. Not only that, she uh, he added her advice. He added her advice to you was not out of concern for your safety. It was her greed and selfishness. She did not want anyone to share the grains that she was getting on that road. What matters in life is one's intention. If what you say is defined from what you actually desire, if you do not practice what you preach, you will suffer. King Bird's explanation helped the birds understand the value of true friendship and sharing with friends in her, in life. Bye bye friends and if you like, if you click on like button if you like the video and click on subscribe button if you want new. No. Bye 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 bye.